Good afternoon and welcome back to the back garden yard. And today's video we're going to show you how to double your pole bean and your green bean yield. Meanwhile we'll walk back there through the regular garden and slow down and take a couple of look at some of the things that are growing. Here's the cucumbers and they've all reached the top of this fence and they're bearing. Let's take a look. Here's a couple that are like two days away from picking size. There's another two or three. Anyway, here are the peppers. Zucchini plant, picking it tomorrow. But anyway, the purpose of this video are beans. I'm going to show you how to double or triple your output of beans. So here's the bush beans, and they're very healthy, and as you see, they're blooming. And then over here are the pole beans. And they've reached the top of the fence. And this is uh, the trick that I wanted to show you. So what you do is when they get up here, you, you pinch off the top. And then that makes side shoots come out all the way up. And then you take these side shoots and you push them over as they come out. And let's see if I can find a better example. Here's a good one. So right here is where I, I topped it. And then right here is where the side chute came out and I pushed it over here. Cause they want to go straight up too. Here's another one. And so what I'll have to do, and you gotta be careful, they break off. But anyway, then I'm gonna let it run out this way and then there'll be another one come out here and I'll let it run out. And so what that's going to do is at least double the output of pole beans that you'll get. Now sometimes you can take them when they get to the top and you can let them run along top of the fence. But then you've got this huge amount of growth at the top of the fence. And you've got all this fence down here that's got very little in it. So with this method, you're going to double your yield of pole beans and then these are here are some pole lima beans and I think over here you can see the method even better let's look at it yeah so these got up to the top and I topped them and then here's the side branch that came out and it's all the way over to here now and they grow four or five inches a day so you have to every morning get up and move them on over okay well that's what you do to increase the pole beans now here's the bush beans and as you can see this bush bean plant has already got beans almost ready to harvest on it and now you can also see that it's falling over from the weight of the plant and the beans. So what we're going to do is we're going to support it. We're literally going to tie it kind of up like a tomato plant. So let's get back over to the other side. You see they're starting to bloom, so this is when you want to be doing this. And I'm going to use these stakes and I'll go ahead and hammer one in and then I'll hammer the rest in and finish the video. So the first one we're going to hammer in, we're going to put it right over here at the edge. And actually, I'm going to use this one. If you can see this, 
I can just press it down with my foot. There it is. That's one on one side. And we're going to use the hammer. And we'll put this one on this side. Okay, and I'm going to repeat the process all the way down on both sides, and I'll be back in a little bit. Okay, so now we've got the poles up. I've got a various uh, and assorted selection of poles. I had to just use what I could find for this. I'm almost to run out of poles. I've used so many, but uh, anyway, we've got the poles up, and I went ahead, and we're going to use... This twine that I use for everything and I've already pre-cut some so I'm going to tie up these first couple of sections then I'll cut the camera off and I'll finish and then I'll turn it on after the job is done simple square knots usually enough In this particular case this is so slick, I'm going to have to wrap it around a couple of times. Keep it up. Okay, folks, the tying project for the bush beans is completed. And as you can see, I've got them in sections. Got the leaves hanging up over. We'll walk down the road right quick. And what this does, it gives extra support, especially when the wind blows and when it rains, so these beans will not fall over. And when they fall over, the stem will break, and that's the end of that plant. So this helps it. As you see, I've got plenty of room to put another row later on when they get bigger. And that, my friends, is the end of the video. If you like this video, if it seemed helpful for you, Please subscribe, like, and we'll see you on the next one.